Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. John, this is word association. I'm going to throw you a word, a phrase, a few names, and I want the first word that comes to mind on your board. Is that all right? Let's do it. All right, cool. So the first word is Manchester. It's the first thing that comes to my head. City? Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair is enough. Is that I'm on the right? Yeah, you're on no, the right thing. No. I was going to actually ask you, what's the best and worst thing about living in Manchester? The worst is the weather. <laughs> That's just <laughs> the be standard. Standard. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing. I'd have to say the people, oh, nice. you know, whoever I come across, stop and talk, just the, the whole um, the vibe. Yeah, the whole vibe around if you're out and about, and I'm sure the other lads would say the same as well. Oh, yeah, all right, cool. Next word, Pep Guardiola. I've put detailed. Detailed. He sees things and notices things that I don't see anyone else seeing or, you know, recognising. Mm. I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but I thought I knew football to a decent degree yeah, before I came. Yeah. And and then you work with the Pep and his team and everyone, and you, you feel like you've never played football, you don't know football, just because he sees the game so different to everyone else. So simple, the, the little things, um, and just his, his philosophy and everything. There was a video um, after your Champions League or during your Champions League game and you went over to the sideline yeah. and you're both like making hand gestures of where you think he should be <laughs> and things like that. Is that something that he's obviously taught you and, and the team? It's probably rubbed off on us as players <laughs> yeah. about the hand gestures. I suppose it's just how you kind of communicate and we do a lot of things on the board and, and where people should be. So yeah, that's probably us, me or me trying to explain kind of something everything. to him. Yeah, no, fair enough. Probably got shut down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one, Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. So king for Kevin De Bruyne, yeah? King for Kevin. Um, would, you, would you say he's the best player in the Premier League right now? I think yeah. he's been up there for years, to be fair. It's hard for me to pick between him, Phil, how he's playing right now, Kevin. Kev's quality is there to be seen. I think we missed that in the early parts of the season when he was injured. Yeah, it's just good to have him back and, and playing and, and, and seeing him enjoy himself and getting assists again, yeah. scoring. He just sees things that no one else does and that's his gift in, in, in the game and you know, I hope he keeps doing it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, cool. This one's uh, a bit different. I want you to finish off the sentence. So the best ball playing centre back in the league is? Uh, I've, I've, put, I've put these two. Oh, Kanji. Manu Kanji. And, and Ruben Diaz. Diaz. You don't want to put yourself there? No. Is that you That's for someone honest? else. <laughs> if, they, if they think that. <laughs> Fair enough. What, what I, is so different about those, those as defenders? Obviously, you play with them yeah. week in, week out. Why, why are they so special? To be fair, I miss Josco and, and Nathan. I don't know. I think the guys, just how they, how they see the game and, and then they bring the, their own kind of touch to the, to the game. Do, do you ever see yourself as like the standard because every time someone mentions a, a ball playing centre back, your name is the first one that comes to mind. And I know you know it as well. Is it, is it something that, that you like obviously hearing? I don't know. I think I'm too laid back for, for all of that. <laughs> the phrase. <laughs> yeah. I think it's been in my, kind of in my DNA since a young kid to try and play that like that or I've been taught to play like that. Uh, it's nice to, nice to be kind of known as that, but it's a bit strange as well. <laughs> nah, I hear you completely. Okay. Most underrated teammate. Underrated. Yeah. Oh, I put Julian Alvarez. Okay. What he's done in the game already, the things that he's won, the goals that he's come up with, one last season against Fulham, difficult game that we were playing in a way. Um, we knew it was a must-win game. Julian comes on, well, came out of nowhere, so put it in the top bin, and, and he does everything so well. Works hard off the ball. He fights for everything. I don't know. I just uh, his, his whole whole game. Um, He's incredible. Yeah, I'm a big I'm a big fan. He's incredible. Really okay. big. Phil Foden. Silky. Okay. <laughs> Why do you say that? When you play with Phil, how, how he how he receives the ball and how he does things in such tight areas or under such big pressure, and how he just moves with it with the ball at the same speed as if he wasn't with the ball, which is so difficult to do. You, you, you get some players that are just born to play football. Phil is just silky. Yeah. Do, you, do you think he's world class? Yes, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I think this season, 
with how he's been playing and gone up a level in, in his own book and wish I could do some of the stuff that he does. <laughs> don't be old. It's not me though. Okay, next one. Gareth Southgate. It's hard to put him into one word. Yeah, no, you know? I, know. I feel like I put you on you the spot. You put me right on the spot. Mad pressure. Gareth Southgate. Put prepared. Oh, there's so many things that I could write. I thought about putting tournament. He knows what to do in these tournaments. Even though we've not won anything, I feel as a player, you know when something's good. Mm. And that's down to us as well that we obviously haven't produced as a team. I feel we've made huge steps. I put prepared because him and Steve Holland, the team that they've got around them, prepare so well. As I say, I could have wrote quite a lot, a lot of yeah. things. How, but how, how are you feeling going into Euro 2024? I'm excited because you know we've been so close in, in, the, in the last one. And I've said before about how difficult that, what that was for me and, and in my career, losing the Champions League final and then going and losing Euros final was you know a difficult time. Some one, one I'm super proud of, but I feel like we've we've been at that stage now and and. Once you've been there, you know how to kind of overcome that, and that's the aim. Okay, yeah. last one. Mm -hmm. Last one. Um, John Stones, how would you describe yourself in one word? How would I describe myself? <laughs> yeah. Or how would I like to be described? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's two different questions. <laughs> I feel like there's a word that came to mind, but you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've put fun. Fun? To be fair, I was, I, was, I was hoping you'd say that because there's a lot of clips that go viral of you, of you just having fun, either listening to music, yeah. dancing. Is that the side of you that people don't see as often? Or, or yeah, like probably, yeah. yeah, probably, yeah. Probably, I think the people that know me know that. I think I'd like, I'd like to be known as, I think I'm a good guy before anything that comes about what I do within football. I'd love to be remembered as a, you know, what a lovely guy. And, I think the majority of the dressing room would say the same. Always making jokes and, as you said, there's probably some silly clips that are out there. <laughs> yeah, <they are. laughs> Thank yeah you. I'll go with fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate it, it man. No Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you.